What's up? And welcome back, everyone. We're here at Tokerville Falls. If you missed yesterday, we went to Sand Hollow, did some trails around there. So this is going to be a little bit different, a lot less sand, a lot more rocks, and actually some water. Water in the desert. We saw water yesterday. A little bit at the lake. Yeah. Pop. So. Looks like there's going to be a good amount of people, so let's get into it.
All the same, $12 mud flap. <laughs> What is it? Was it? Did you hit? I think maybe the frame. Oh. All right, driver. Your other driver. Yep, yep. Follow it through. Yep. There you go. Straight. Okay. Now go driver. Yep. All right, we are free and clear. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was.
how far back's the trail start? It's got a ways yet. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Alright, have fun. Yeah, you too. Be careful. Yep. I said, how far back is the trail start? He goes, you got a ways. I said, that's kind of saddening. This is a, this is a pretty intense trail. Yeah. Kind of hoping he was going to say, oh, around two more bends or whatever. But this is, yeah, this is pretty intense. We're turning around. Are we? We're going. Seriously? We're going. So the blue dot is where we are. Yeah. And this is all we have left. So what we've done. The blue is what we've done. Oh my god. Yeah, Tokerville Falls is up here. And where we turned, it started to get tough was that. So we'd be mm -hmm. out here for three or four hours. Yeah. What are we gonna go back to there and then first one, get yeah. off and go back? Which is only like three obstacles back, I think. Yep. I don't know if the same rule applies here, like off-beach traffic has the right-of-way, I don't know. I would give the right-of-the-way to the person that has the more difficult time pulling off. 100%. Oh, I did that right when we got on this trail. I was so zoned out that I just had it running at a thousand RPM, just slowly cruising the trail. <laughs> that would have been a good trail. Um, one, if we had done it in the morning, I still would have got annoyed with it. And two, you're going to want to go far right on this drop. Um, and two, if it had, if it wasn't like every turn was an obstacle, it it, it, it it was just annoying. I don't know how I would have felt if we hit that in the morning. It was just, if it wasn't back to back and it was an obstacle and then roads like these and then another river crossing, it's just to be constantly alert to do that is rough. Oh, hundred percent. That was, that was too much. Like, I wouldn't even mind doing that for, like, the length we did it was a little bit too long. You know, maybe three quarters of the length we did it, and then back to this would be fine. Or doing one little trail like that would be fine. But that was, we weren't even an eighth of the way into that trail. When he chuckled and said, you got a ways to go, <laughs> I figured we were screwed. Yeah, that's what got me, got me thinking to look at the map, and I'm glad I did. I, I mean... You know, we saw it, we did it, we did pretty good on what we did do, we didn't break anything. You know, I think that's like a 7, or a 6 at least. Yeah, he also followed by, followed it up by, make sure you guys stay safe out there. Yeah, the guys in the, uh, in the little tiny razor that were the last ones that we saw pulling up to that group, they were like looking at your truck and like, oh, and I'm like, I don't, I don't understand, it's a fully capable vehicle. I could have done that entire trail. I would not have enjoyed it. It would have taken way too long. And another four or five inches would have made you not have to think as much about tire placement. I think another three inches would have been plenty. Another three inch with a three inch lift with another inch of tire, you would have been fine. That's three plus one. Just checking, just seeing if it falls within my four to five inch range. Civilization. And that's a wrap. Closer. Civilization's getting closer.
That one was rough. That one was, that was pretty rough. Yeah. So going up there, we took the easy route. Wasn't too bad. Coming back, we attempted Rattlesnake Gulch. Made it probably a quarter of the way. And ended up turning back to the main trail because it got rough. Both these stock vehicles, they could have made it, but uh, it just would have taken a long time. Kids are done. If we had, we're done. I would say if we had three inches more of clearance and maybe a little bit of armor, the rivers wouldn't be as sketchy. I don't even know if it was sketchy. It was just a lot of a lot of maneuvering and, and going around stuff that we should just be able to go right over. You know, yep. being in stock vehicles has its benefits. They drive great on the highway and they do a lot of these trails with no problem at all. But you get into obstacles and stuff like that, you just have to have right tire placement. Whereas the Rattlesnake Gulch was over and over and over again of it's obstacles. It's very technical. Yeah. So fun trail, but I think tomorrow we might do Zion. I think Zion would be fun. Might do Zion. We also have the um, northern part of Arizona that we were talking about doing. Yeah, maybe the Grand Canyon or some of the uh, Arizona Strip trails. So we still got uh, one, two, three days left in this trip. So we'll see what we have time for, but that's all gonna have to be in another video. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching.